So, uh, my name is Hunter Ream. I grew up in Matitsi, Wyoming. We're in Cody right now, just 25 miles north of, of where I grew up. And uh, this rodeo is like a hometown rodeo for me. I've been coming here since I was four years old. Yeah, so I, I rope cows professionally and uh, travel up and down the road most of the year and you know, live in my trailer over 300 days a year. Um, and, and I love to compete, you know, and, and I have a special horse. And yeah, Gypsy's, uh, you know, he's unique and you can see like anybody that's around him, they just want to go love on him and be around him. And, um, you know, he's good looking, but he's got, got a really good personality and demeanor. I bought him as a five-year-old and a green horse, uh, meaning he'd been, you know, trained enough to know how to do his job but he wasn't like a seasoned veteran, like he just was rock solid, like he still had to go through a lot of growing pains. And, and that's kind of the point I was at in my career too, when I bought him. So he and I have gone through all those pains together and um, for better or worse. So that along with when I'm on the road 300 days a year, he's with me 300 days a year. Yeah, he's with me 365 days a year. I mean, he's with me every single day, but um, when you're out here completely by yourself, like I like to travel most of the time, it's just me and my horse and my rig, and um, you have a lot of times where you just, for me, I mean, it, it sounds sentimental, but I just go hang out with him. You know, I don't, I don't really go to bars and party and drink and all that stuff. I just kind of keep to myself, and so it's, uh, it's unique when you have an animal like that that you enjoy being around. love to compete. You know, I played a lot of sports growing up and I know what it feels like to throw a touchdown pass and what it feels like to hit a game winning shot. There is no better feeling than roping a calf on a really nice horse. To me, rodeo and number one thing you gotta have is a horse. Number two thing you gotta have is a quality trailer. The, the trailer is paramount. I mean, man, when I was looking for trailers, I was extremely particular on the brands. You know, I had probably four brands I would look at. Uh, but they had to have, you know, the, this, this specific trailer, I needed the four mangers for storage. I needed a hay pod. I really wanted a full back tack and I needed a quality interior. When I found this trailer, that is a unicorn. I mean, that is, to find it used in the condition it's in, as much as I use and abuse it, you know, it holds up to everything. You know, the other thing is when you buy a quality trailer like a heart, is I can go into the shop and say, hey guys, my saddle rack's busted. I, I actually pulled in there one day and that was the case and they grabbed me a new one and stuck it in. I guess that's probably my favorite thing about it is, is I, I do have a lot of pride in the brand that's on it. They don't crank them out as much as others do. They're more about really high quality. Doing it right and the ones that come out of the factory are gonna stay on the road forever. Usually when people get deals with trailers, they go through the dealership. So the fact that I mean, we're even sitting here and it's directly with the manufacturer, that's a huge deal. And like, that's why like, when, Tra when I saw Tracy yesterday and I gave her a hug, I was like, yeah. that's the owner of the company. Like when she's here, a part of it, man, that's just, I don't know, that's cool.
go to heart, period. I mean, and it could be something that lasts long enough for my family to be in, you know, one day. And for if you know if you're looking for something that you're gonna buy one time and it's gonna last you forever, go buy heart. <laughs>